Hello and welcome to another attentional demo using JSON forms. In today's demo, we will cover a new JSON form feature available in IAP version 2021.2 and 2022.1 called Dynamic Options with Field Dependency, followed by a real-time example to show this feature in action. Please refer to our documentation site at docs.itential.com to learn more about this feature. In previous versions of IAP, the dynamic drop-down option was introduced in JSON forms to allow the ability to query and display data retrieved by API call in drop-down dynamically. Dynamic drop-downs have been enhanced with a new feature called field dependency which allows get API call path variables to be replaced by values located in a previous form field. I have chosen an example use case for JSON form that pertains to admin users in IAP profiles. The following live demo example will demonstrate this new feature as we will create a JSON form that has two dynamic dropdowns. The first one will do get API call to obtain the profile names in IAP. The second dropdown will get API call that will obtain the admin in IAP profile referenced in the first dropdown. In Automation Studio, we start by creating a new JSON form and we name it User Groups. From the form element pane on the right hand side, we add a drop down. Hover over the triple dots here and then click on the gear icon to configure the field. This field will be a get call to retrieve the current IAP profile names. I will give it the name profile name. Then we will select the option required such the user must select a profile from the drop-down to complete the form. Now to set up the API get call, we click Options and select Dynamic. We are going to configure the get call as follows to retrieve all the profiles. Once we click on Make API Call, we will see the JSON response body of the get call. In the response, we see that the profile ID is located under Profile in the Results array. In the Data Mapping section, we are going to select Results, and in the Property key, we are going to select Profile ID. Now when we click Query Data, we will see the profile IDs available in our current IAP. For the drop-down label, we will leave the default option. For the variable field dependency, I will keep the ID static because profile name field will not be dependent on another field referenced from this JSON form. To preview the profile name drop-down we created, we click on Preview JSON form. When clicking on the drop-down, we see the profile names which the get call retrieved from our IAP. For the next form element, we are going to add a second dynamic dropdown that does use a field dependency. We will name it admin as it's going to retrieve the admin of a profile that's selected in the previous profile name dropdown. We click options and select dynamic and now we are going to configure the get method. As you see, the make API call is grayed out because we haven't added any profile ID. This value is going to be referenced from the profile name dropdown. To show the JSON response of the get call, I will write a randomly selected value from the profile name, then click make API call. The response shows the admin names of a profile under admin in authentication props. 
In the data mapping section, we are going to select the source property as follow and groups as the property key. This will allow us to query the admins of that profile and we can see this when clicking query data. To make this drop down option dynamically dependent on the value of profile name, we are going to select from reference and we will select profile name. Now we are going to review this form. When clicking the first drop down profile name, it makes a git call retrieving all the profiles available. For example, we will select West Coast. When clicking the second drop down admins, we see the admins of the selected profile. Now, when we change the profile name to East Coast, we will see that the admin drop down values have changed. This example allowed us to see that admin value is dependent on the profile name value. This summarized the new feature field dependency. For more information, please make sure to check Itential documentation site. And thank you for watching.